Lights, camera. Lights, camera. Lights, camera. Lights, camera. AKA the Baron. That's me. So welcome back. Or if this is your first time, howdy. Howdy doody. Today, we're gonna watch Get Out. I'm not really sure who's in it. I don't have too much that I want to say about it before I get started. I go back and forth between having the IMDb page queued up, so I can say like director, who's in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like that's also a good way to, I don't know, like there might be a cool cameo or something that just gets wrecked because like you saw it on the list or something. So with that in mind, all I know about this movie is I do know the director, Jordan Peele of He and Peele fame. Although that's a while ago. I mean, he's directed like three movies at this point. It's like a horror movie, but I don't know if it's jump scare, scary. I don't know if it's thriller, scary. You know, I don't know if there's a, any of that. I don't know. I don't know. We're, but we're, me and you are going to watch it. We're going to like it. And if not, we're going to get out. <laughs> See what I did there? Is, is this get out? Okay, this is like a, a studio thing, studio logo. Okay, Blumhouse. Got it. <laughs> okay, now is it the movie or is it another studio? Okay. I feel like there's that episode of Family Guy where Peter goes to the movies and every time a studio comes up, he's like, ah, now the movie started. And it's like, oh, it's another. You got me out here in this creepy, confusing suburb. That's how I would have said it. Suburb. So I really like this actor. All right, All right, I'll talk to you soon. He was in Sorry to Bother You. See. That movie was crazy and I don't remember it. I definitely want to rewatch it. Hearing 30s music, uh, okay. not, not the best. I just keep on walking, bro. Don't... Come on, bro. Oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Okay, that was a twist because I was sure he was going to be in the movie for longer than that. And they just, they put him in the trunk. Okay. I'll say, so he's asking about no. the... Should they? So his eyes, it's a big deal. Like, Seems they probably like want to know. They're going to be... She's like, I don't like see color. No. He's a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say so Blackman like legendary. it's a last name? Yes, because it, it's not his last name. It's not like Bill Spiderman. He's a spider man. My dad would have voted for Obama a third time if he could have. Hate when white people say shit like that. Love is so real. Why do <laughs> white people feel like they have to <laughs> say that's stuff like that? He's a lame dad more than anything else. I would have voted Obama for a third term if I could. Maybe because I said the thing earlier is what's her deal? Does she just date people and then lure them into her crazy families like do they hunt humans for sport i don't so i don't know if she's being sincere or not but i i put that idea in my own head for all i know she's legit hold on i gotta call rod oh rod don't 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 do that call rod thanks for looking at this it this weekend remember no human food damn see give me some type of credit okay i don't think it's no, I accept your apology. It's all good. <laughs> I accept your apology. She doing licking your balls or something? <laughs> yeah, bye. You know what I'm saying, Chris? Chris. Funny because in Smoking real life, that go. guy in the background would have been able to hear all of that. <laughs> like, did somebody throw that? That's what it looks like. Classic Rebecca. Just, I'm just kidding. I don't remember her name. They just said it too. Sir, can I see your license, please? He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. Yeah, why? That doesn't make any sense. Here. Kind of, kind of does that, though. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe. I, you don't have to. Any time there is an incident. Well, I don't know the law. Actually, you have every right to That's ask. Bullshit. Actually, I'm gonna sit this one out because I don't, I don't technically know the law on that. Is he being racist or is he just doing his job? I don't know. I can't ask Jordan Peele what his motivation was i feel like this is going to be a racially motivated movie though that's what it kind of seems it was fine we actually had a deer he looks like the type that would say that 
I would have voted for Obama for a third for a third year if I could. So how long has this been going on? This this thing. This thing. <laughs> really? That's what he went with? This thing. Cringe, dude. This is Jeremy. It's Rose's he seems little brother. There he is. Unnaturally nice. Yeah, I bet you have. He's Jordan Peele wants us to be comfortable with this guy, and I don't buy it. Hi. Hello. The uh, garbage goes under the sink, uh, and now for the pièce de résistance. Garbage. Here's the thing. I would say garbage. So I can kind of be like, okay, that was funny. So, but I don't know if he's being funny or if he's being sincere and he wants to sound fancy. I don't know. I, he feels... He's kind of a piece of shit. So we're not going to find that endearing, even though I would have said garbage. White family, black servants, it's a total Elephant in the room. Take you there. Well, you didn't have to, believe me. We hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I just, I, I, I couldn't bear to let them go. I feel like they're not there on their own. Like, I think I couldn't let them go was literally... By the way, I, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Best president in my lifetime, hands down. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, he's just one of those dudes that has to work that in. Anyway. Yeah, but he said couldn't let him go, obviously. You say that and it's not literal, but I think it's literal. Hypnosis. She developed a method, and I'm telling you, it works like a charm. I want to say there is something to hypnosis, but I want to also say that a lot of people just kind of, they think they're learning how to do it and they don't really know how to do it. So I don't want to say hypnosis is bullshit, but I think a lot of people don't really know how to do it. And then just the person who believes in hypnosis, getting hypnosis, hypnosis done, plus enter the placebo effect. We just kept it up because after after they died, we just it felt like every time it, it cuts to one of the, the workers, like like I'm I'm, I'm making sure to <laughs> focus on their face. Oh. Oh, They're hypnotized. I'm so sorry. Oh, That's okay. what I... We'll get back to watching Get Out shortly. But if you would like to see the full length reaction to this movie for the price of on the house, as well as these exclusives. Head on over to my BMAC page for all of my full length reactions and my friendship are free. Now back to the show. Why would I lie? <laughs> huh? I love it. He, he, he has <laughs> this guy fucks energy. Yeah, he's 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 walking the line between douchebag and this guy fucks. Like I can't quite tell where he fits. Yeah, they're hypnotized. I even wrote it on the thing. Hypnosis. Question mark. He's dating my sister. You had your chance. I can't get to know the guy. You mean like UFC? Yes. See, I don't, yeah, not too brutal. For I don't me. know if she cut off MMA for a reason, or it just—it was just at that point she's just like enough talking. I did judo after school, first grade. Oh. You should have seen me. Judo. <laughs> it was with your frame and your genetic makeup. Had to throw in genetic makeup in there, didn't you? This guy's kind of douchey. He, I don't, he's not really know this guy f***s energy. What is his problem? He's never treated any of my boyfriends that way. Ever, ever, ever. Oh my God, and then my dad. So this guy is definitely experiencing some racism. My man, my man. I don't think he's ever heard that or said it. And now he just, it's all he said. But she does seem overprotective about it. I don't know. How are they different than that cop? That's the f***ing bummer of it all. Yeah, I'm gonna side with her on the cop, though. Also... I heard this movie <laughs> through... <sighs> hell, dude. Move! Move out of the... Dude, the title of the movie, Get Out. They're hypnotized, dude. There's no way they'd bring that up in conversation. 
and it's just not relevant to why these people just have these like these weird looks on their face and when this dude's just like forest gumping his way just for a little while meanwhile she's sitting in the dark that's not creepy thank you i know it's creepy because i do it all the time where were you when she died i don't want to think about that I can't stand that noise, dude. Watching TV. Do you hear the TV? Yeah, that's too much, dude. I can't. I have subtitles on. Now I can still hear their voices just enough. <laughs> You'll hear it. Nothing. I just sat there. I think she's hypnotizing him right now. Anyone? No. Why not? <sighs> you think it was your fault? Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, if it, it is clear now she's hypnotizing him. I was sort of guessing at it, but I. <sighs> that did happen because he wasn't wearing a hoodie. In bed, he put that on to go smoke. Yeah, he's not like something I don't want to be doing. He's not present, dude. They didn't get to meet you actually up close. Reminds me of the Simpsons Trias of Horrors, where Ned Flanders is he's he's ruling the world, and everyone gets like lobotomized, and Moses is like, "It's not so bad, Homer. They let the they let you keep the little piece of brain in a jar. Like that's what he seems like." It's not so bad, Homer. They go into your nose and they let you keep the piece of brain they cut out. Join us, Father. No! <laughs> Real dog on keeper. <laughs> He's been lobotomized or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that there was going to be more people there. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that guy with the beard that like hugged him. I'm surprised he didn't do that thing where a white person tries to look cool and immediately they just come up to you like, hey, hey, hey with that, like that whole thing. He gave me those kind of vibes that he's the kind of guy that does that. You, uh, you ever play golf? Once. A few years ago, I wasn't very good. Gordon was a professional golfer for years. Oh, you kidding? Of course he was. Well, I can't quite swing the hips like I used to, though. Uh, so, Chris, uh, let, let's see your form. Oh my god, dude. She's Captain America. She's Peggy Cartering him, where she, like, puts her hands on his chest. So, is it true? Is it better? Wow, wow. Wow! <laughs> He's like a spectacle or something. I mean, I get it, like, everyone would want to meet him, but... They're talking to him and about him like he's from this is like exotic world. Like, good to see another brother around. It's here. the one from the beginning. Oh, he's hypnotized. <sighs> yes. Well, it was nice to meet you, Chris. Please smash it. Ah. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, maybe it was a little racist. You assumed he was gonna fist bump. You ever think of that? That has to be one of the most awkward things. Like, if it happens in normal life, if you're going to fist bump somebody and they think you're going to shake hands and you just sort of like... <laughs> they just, like, stopped. Stopped what they were doing and just fixated. I don't know if you know this. White people love making people sex slaves and shit. Packs. I read it on Wikipedia. They were coming over there like, oh, I guess I'm gonna just suck a little dick, maybe jiggle some balls and shit. No, they didn't get a chance to jiggle shit because their head was off their body. Yeah, they still sucked the dick, but without their heads. It was fucking weird to touch head. Shit. You know, that's Jeffrey Dahmer business. I wasn't trying to snitch. Snitch. Rat you out. Tattletail. That's so yeah. like. Oh, don't you worry about that. Old fashioned, the 30s music in the beginning, and the both of them 
him and the guy, her and the, the man chopping wood had this like old fashioned way of like talking and she, she dresses old fashioned kind of. <laughs> yeah, I think subconsciously they're aware that they're trapped in whatever this is. We've become such homebodies. Yes, yes, yes. But even when you go into the city, I've just had no interest. The chores. And that was not as subtle as he thinks it is. Oh, shit. Get out. Oh, he's breaking. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yeah, it, 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 it broke. Man, this is gonna sound weird, but when he came at me, it felt like I knew him. I just need to go. She's, oh, you just need to get out. Okay. Credits. Uh, he wants him because he's a good uh, photographer. Yeah, I feel like this movie is going to have like some like big twist. And it involves her. He came to the party with a white woman like 30 years old now. Sex slave! Oh, shit. Well, kind of. Chris, you got to get the f*** out of there, man. I mean, that's, that might not be just the, Leave, the plain and thick of it. But just, I suppose if you want them for sex, that's what they're there for. But I mean, it's just be in control of them. That's why they were bidding on them. Uh, let me go get my bag. Okay. okay. I'm going to go on the record. I don't think she's a part of it. Because if I'm wrong, I want to just own up to it. I've been saying it one way or the other, sometimes serious, sometimes joking. But that's... Hammer. That's my verdict. I'll, if I'm wrong, I'll just be wrong. That's what she... She's in on it, and I just said she wasn't. No, she's being hypnotized. Verdict's still out. Picture of the dude from the party. I mean, I know that's not him, but I mean, it's, it's, we're going to see a picture of her with the dude from the party? Oh. So she wasn't... Well, I didn't think... Oh, then the other guy with the... The, the second to last picture was the guy chopping wood, right? I don't know. He had facial hair. But yeah, not that I thought that they were really that they were actually caregivers, but just when he said couldn't let him go, I knew that was literal. I don't know why I did literal because I literal. Saying literal makes it not literal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would anyone like tea? No, I'm good. We Ooh, leave. She's gonna keep doing really? that. Don't do why it. Is something wrong? Don't do it. Rose. Okay, he knows jujitsu. He knows Brazilian jujitsu. They wouldn't have teed him up for that. Like, he's going to try to escape, and he's going to be the guy that's like, Ugh. Imagine being able to wield a cup of tea like a weapon. Like, if somebody saw you walking up to him with it, you'd just be like, please don't. Where are those keys, Rose? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? I was wrong. <laughs> I trusted her, dude. So he's f***ed, right? Because, like, who's going to save him? Yeah, they're all in on it. Like, he knows something's up. He's, like, kind of figuring it out. He knew about that guy. But, like, what is he going to do? Drive out yeah. their guns blazing and save him? A mind is a terrible thing to waste. I mean, he's his only, like, lifeline, I guess. The only one that can, like... The only one who could do anything. I don't know if I literally, I don't know if you can see me jump, but that did make me kind of go like more than it should have, even if it was very subtle. God, that, that teacup and spoon is like, that's nasty, dude. If you can 
Just Dr. Xavier, somebody like that. Whew. I would take a seminar to learn how to do that tomorrow. And I'd pay God knows how much. Short and sweet, thank God. My boy Chris has been missing for two days. Your son is missing. Oh, no, no. <laughs> my not boy. my son. My friend, he's 26. And I've been watching his dog see it. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. Cute, right? I believe they've been abducting black people. Like he's not wrong, but this sounds them. crazy. They don't work for them as sex slaves and shit. Oh, sorry about the shit. Sorry. But oh man, that's Andre Hayes. Please tell me. This dude been missing for six months, right? So they're I not going to laugh at him. As a, see, I don't know if it's the hypnosis. She brought them in to be like, look at how crazy this dude is. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Shame, shame, shame. He oversold it. So there's option B, guns blazing. Wait, you haven't seen him? Oh, he never came back here. Found it phony as hell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, 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 man, I've been calling his phone a bunch of times. Matter of fact, I went done to the done this police. enough, you think she'd be better at it. Lying, She is lying like a mother. Uh, yeah, I think I she's just that, not good ooh, at lying. TSA tingles. This mother is lying. What if he was? It'd be funny if he wasn't on mute. It's kind of obvious, don't you think? That there's something between yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, what you talking about, girl? I called you about Chris. No, Rod. Whenever Rod, we you're go next out, if you're not careful. Looking at me. Did you give something to him? I know you think about f me, Rod. Ain't nobody thought about f you. Why would you say some stupid sh What the? You ass f you. I didn't want to. You ass. Can they be hypnotized over the phone? Can they hypnotize over the phone? I mean, I don't think that happened just now, but. Like a push comes to shove, can they do that? Phase one was the hypnotism. Phase two is is this mental preparation. It's basically a psychological pre-op. You'll be able to see and hear what your body is doing, but your existence will be as a passenger. Yeah, that's what I was saying here. Like you're kind of far back and you can kind of see but you can't like touch, like you physically get there and. Now, I'll control the motor function, so I'll be. Me. You'll be me. Good, good. I want your eye, man. So a part of them gets implanted into their body. You see through. So their consciousness is put it in the new host and then they can control that host with the original host of, you know, are just sort of passengers that can't do anything. And the woman 30 years older than the other guy that might like, that might've been her husband. Right. That chair, dude, so squeaky. I don't want to turn it down all the way. You jitsy your way out of that when you little bitch. You little faker, you phony ass martial arts wannabe bitch. The... Ah. I feel like that wouldn't be enough, but I'm still. I mean, I'm still kind of like him. Like, that was a good little plot twist, I guess. Like, I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you can hear the Steven Root talking on the TV, you can hear the. But still, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Not let her touch a glass of tea. With a vengeance, don't let her touch one. Oh. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Squishy. Oh, 
Oh, well, I thought he was, I thought he was for sure done, but okay. So he knows a little, little jujitsu, but any asshole can do that when you sneak up on somebody. All I know is this dude has to go. Dude has to go. Satisfying. That's more satisfying than a Snickers. That sound was too. I'm not even pretending that, that grossed me out. I'm here for it. You're gonna get it the worst. Uh, I'll show you who your favorite was. I'm at the Armitage's house. My name's Chris. The guy chopping wood's gonna. Can you repeat that? I'm at the, I'm at the Armitage's Well, not quite. Grandma. Ah! Okay, so it's one of their. I think the dad was the one that said his parents. So that, yeah, so that would be. Okay. You. I knew she had a gun and I knew she was on her way, but still, don't quite know when. Get him, Grandpa. <gasps> That's such a design flaw, dude. If that's all it takes. Because you never know when you're going to see a flash like that. Would lightning do it? Yeah, he, he's he's in he's in his right frame of mind. Nice, nice. You know what I mean? Because like I can see at least if you're there on the property, and you you have people like the the son, for instance. If one of them goes crazy, or rather they go uncrazy, you can restrain them, do the tea thing. But some of these people like they they go out into the world, and if they if somebody takes the picture of them, or whatever, oh. Shut up. It's me. I love you. Yeah, I ain't gonna fly. What is the it's me? You're trying to be like, I was hypnotized too. Ow. How easy can you explain this to the police? Like there is the the surgical room. Steven Root's just lying there dead at this point. They're gonna play the angle Help where it's me. a black man and a white woman, and we have to like sit back and. Ah, oh, TSA! We don't have to hope for sh. We don't have to hope for sh. He kinda did roll up guns blazing. Whew. Saw the door open, I saw airport on it. Boom. Now go, get out. Make like the title of the movie Get Out. They're parked here, dude, for way too long. I don't like it. I mean, I told you not to go in the did. house. Fair enough. Okay, so we're just going to kind of end it on a joke. I think they're fine, right? How you find me? I'm T.S. Motherfucking A. We handle shit. They do not get detective training. Do. I don't give a f dude. They don't get training. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they got to learn some stuff when it comes to security. But you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not Johnny. Uh, dissect the movie's plot holes. I'm. I'm just. He's being funny. I'm being funny. I'm just saying, like, they, they just don't get trained. That kind of training. I'm here for it. Okay. Don't be like, why are you complaining? I'm here for it. Oof. Start with my notes. Okay, so the movie didn't have, I thought at the very end, it'd be a big reveal, but the, the third act in itself was a nice, I called it out at the beginning, hypnotism. And I think like at least half of the people kind of piece that together to some degree. You don't know the degree that it's happening. You don't know what the plan is. Like, are they all sort of tools at her sick game? Clearly she's in on it. Nobody's hypnotizing her to hypnotize people. That's just too much. But yeah, okay, so everyone had a role, but let's go down. Uh, this is the first movie where I actually made a list. 
All right, so the first bullet point was what movie? The actress and Jeremy. I'll look this up. It's not really something I need to do right now. Yeah, and then, okay, I wrote down, couldn't let them go, the caretakers. And then we found out that, well, because at the time, I took that as they just really liked them for their services. Like they were the caretakers. And that, that, well, no, that's, that wasn't true. Well, okay, here's the thing about them being active. You're looking through the daughter's photos of all the candidates she's abducted in the past. And then at the last two, one was the guy chopping with the second to last. And then the last was, was the woman who was the maid. Was she romantic with them? Like, did she kind of dupe them into like that that way? Or were they just the actual caretakers, but she was just being chummy with them anyway for like, you know, Instagram or whatever. I'm going to take it as they were, they were both also people she duped into with dating. Hypnosis, question mark, called it question mark. We sure did. Both of us did, didn't we? Uh, dad tried too hard to be nice. Okay, so they're really, and I put daughter also. I would have voted for Obama a third time if I could, because they just, he really wants him to trust him and of course the daughter remember i saw it also she's she's kind of doing the virtue i didn't say virtue signaling but that's what i was thinking but i just i the way she was going about it it was just too phony okay fair enough cop asked for his id what do you need it for fair enough but just the way when they were talking in the bedroom she just seemed to be laying it on real thick about like how phony people were being and can you believe that she was really Right? We saw what she turned out to be, right? So, yeah, they were both trying way too hard to seem nice. And that, well, in her case, that she cared about him and she didn't give a sh about him. Okay, I wrote down why no MMA. There was actually nothing for that. Maybe it's because it kind of is his role. It's kind of his job to, like, he was kind of the nurse and he was bringing, the, bringing him the body. And he probably acts as something of security like he was there by the door with a lacrosse stick yeah you think me because because i hispanic i don't i don't know what a lacrosse stick is but you ask me for my id while i'm at it you pff, just kidding no but he I, maybe it's because he was talking about fighting like way too much maybe he was trained in it maybe she just was like don't reveal that we kind of want you to be a surprise that we need you to be so maybe there was something to that and then I wrote spoon noise for hypnosis that I mean clearly that that played out long before and then yeah the maid was crying while laughing okay that's something that we, we learned well I took that as they weren't being controlled by somebody else they, they were being controlled by the programming of hypnosis itself but they were just sort of a passenger like in the backseat of a car and then they have no control over it it's a ride they don't want to take and the way from their what their visual perspective was it was just getting further and further away which kind of shows how out of far away from being in control that they that they feel that's that's essentially that's exactly what it was only so the hypnosis was i guess just sort of make them docile and i i guess it sets the ground for them to be trapped in their own mind i guess but what's really controlling them is the other person part of the part of their brain replaces a lot of their brain and, and like he said just enough of them is kept intact to where that they can like see and hear and, and know what's going on but they're not in control for the most part i mean you can sort of like get them out of it but also too i feel like again i didn't write a whole lot but like i can just sort of get through it but a lot of times i'm just um and then uh his shirt was real cool also like what other movies has he been in because i don't fucking know that's what the movie's for me to just talk about what other movies that they've been in so with that we're just gonna call it a day night you don't know what time because i'm in a bunker i'm in a sexy bunker if you're watching this on youtube or rumble i'm starting to put everything on rumble as well i feel it's a it's a it's a nice fail safe to have if you're watching on either of those platforms you want to see the full length reaction to this video head over to my bmac and the beauty of that is it's it's not paywalled it's free all you need is your own copy of the movie and you can watch along with moi we can have some real laughs you know what do you have to lose a month worth of whatever a subscription would cost you know i don't have that as a requirement so you don't have an excuse but yeah I thank you for watching. We had some fun, you and I. We really did. I hope you really get a chance to break down this movie in your head. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time, 
Abedi Edouard, 